head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> Let's go right into learning how to memorize anatomy. Memory Master Champion Lewis Angel right here with AE Mind and this is the first video or the introduction in the Memorize Anatomy series under Medical Student Mastery. You see I compete all over the world in memory competitions and every single one of the memory athletes that competes alongside myself will tell you that the key to memorization is visualization. We have to turn whatever it is that we want to memorize into an image or a story. We have to become creative storytellers. So there's a three-step process to being able to memorize anything and anything quickly first step is you need a location second step is you need to visualize and third step is you need to review and you can actually get this free guide right here by going to medstudentmastery.com like this video comment down below what you want me to talk about and go over next and i'll send you that video as part of the video series for free as well and for this first one we're going to cover the skeletal system and we're going to go over the scapula bone which is the shoulder blade as you see right there in the image so what i would do is you have to convert that into a picture right so you can either just do a direct association with the name and I'll go over that in a moment and you can also ask yourself like what does this part remind me of so I can kind of picture like a steak for the scapula it kind of looks like a steak so then you take the actual word scapula and you turn that into an image so I would picture a scapel for scapula it's very similar so then what you want to do is create a little story out of this so I might picture like the scapel scratching my scapula and maybe it turns into a piece of steak right it kind of looks like it uh, so it turns to a piece of steak and I'm eating it with the scalpel. So whatever triggers or mnemonics or associations you want to create to remember that, use that. It's going to help you to trigger what that actually represents and what it means. So then what you want to do when they're quizzing you on what this particular part of the body or the skeleton is, um, you want to ask yourself, what was the picture or the story that you created? Not necessarily what was the name of it, but just what was the picture and story because that's going to help you trigger the actual name. So in this case, we picture the scalpel, like you see there, scratching the scapula. So that's all you got to do. Boom turn the scapel back into the name which is scapula that's pretty much what you have to do here is use your creativity to come up with these weird associations for the anatomy and the body parts that we want to remember so let's go through a few more examples we're going to continue on with the skeletal system and target now the femur and what i'm going to picture for femur is fever and a mirror so my picture for fever either you can just picture it really hot or come up with an actual image for it in this case i use a thermometer to represent fever and then you're going to associate that to the actual location so as you can see here my story is i'm checking the femur's fever with the thermometer and a mirror so i'm checking it out with the mirror as well so for the next one i want to target and zone in on the muscular system and specifically it's going to be the deltoid so what you want to do again is come up with an image for the deltoid um, i picture a dow taco taco and i picture a toy so as you can see here i pictured like a truck a toy for that uh for that last part toy part of, of deltoid and then just associate that to the location in this case on the actual shoulder the deltoid uh, so possibly I don't know a Dow taco toy truck on top of the deltoid maybe it's dumping a bunch of tacos Dow tacos on the deltoid and you grabbing them and eating them the next one will be the nervous system and specifically it will be the base of the brain which is the cerebellum uh, as you can see here on the image it's right at the bottom portion of it so what you want to do first is convert the cerebellum name into an image so I picture celery for the cere part and I picture a bow for bellum part so then you come up with a little story so the cerebellum was eating celery and ringing bells so see that at the base of your brain celery with bells right there at the bottom portion of your brain let's look at the digestive system next so what do you picture right there for the liver or what what kind of stands out for me it's like there's a few bulges kind of looks like hills at the top portion of the liver so i'll use those portions as the locations um, but first we have to turn the name liver into an image so leaf for the live part and then hair for the ending er so leaf and hair represent liver so maybe i'll picture like the liver had leaves and hair growing from it at the top portion of the liver itself you can see there leaves and hair let's review this is essential for long-term memory retention you have to review the information that you remember or memorize in order for it to really stick into your long-term memory for you to be able to recall it much easier come test time come quiz time whatever the case might be all right so muscular system we picture the shoulder area right there what was that muscle that we memorized earlier what was the image that we created? The story. It was a little truck, toy truck with tacos, right? So it was Del Taco Tacos. The name of that part is Deltoid. All right, this next one, what do we picture here? Remember that on the thigh bone? It got really hot. 
had a fever. Pretty much rhymes with that. And you had a mirror. So femur is that picture right there. All right, for the digestive system, what was this called right here? Remember there was like a few bulges at the top? We picture something up there. Leaf and hair, which represented liver. Uh, next one, nervous system. At the base of the brain, we have this part right there. As you can see, it's highlighted. And it was eating something and doing something else. It had salary and bowel cerebellum. All right, last one. This was the first one that we did. So what was this part right here called? The shoulder blade area. Kind of looked like a steak, right? And you're cutting it with a scapel. The name of this is called scapula. All right, that's pretty much it. Remember to download the free guide down below. Like this video, comment down below what you want me to talk about next. I have a few other videos here on this series, so make sure to watch them. Teach you how to memorize things in order about specific parts of the body and just a lot of other great content on here. So make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share. I'm out. Peace out. Keep learning, keep growing.